Hello everybody, we're back again. First video that is not a short in a very, very long time. I've been on holiday right now in Indonesia, just got back, and so many crazy things have happened. And Liverpool have signed Dominic Sobosly, I'm so happy about that. Loads of crazy signings going around in the world of football. However, here is one player that every Premier League club should sign. I'll be going through all the 20 teams in alphabetical order, starting off with AFC Bournemouth. And my suggestion is Safian Amrabat. Now, he was obviously brilliant at the World Cup from Morocco and that and he now is like 26, 27 playing for Fiorentina. Now, you might be thinking, Eric, why would he go to Bournemouth? They are going to be in a relegation battle next season. I think that he is not worth all the hype. And when Liverpool were linked with like a £70 million move after the World Cup in January for him, I was like, that is such an overpay. He is worth maybe £20 million, And I think that is a deal that Bournemouth should be doing. And we can see big players leaving into smaller Premier League clubs that want to play in the Premier League. So I think Amrabat would want to do that. He'd want a new challenge. And that is the deal that Bournemouth want because they just lost Jefferson Lerma. Arsenal, they need cover for Bukayo Saka. They have no cover for him on that right-hand side whatsoever and they're playing Champions League football so I have gone for Moussa Diaby now this man he is a natural right winger obviously French playing at Bayer Leverkusen last year and what a player this guy is I mean he's he's young he's just 24 last season got the nine goals eight assists and Bukayo Saka is playing way too much football he doesn't have any cover sign him next player for Aston Villa Bryce Mendes. Now, this is a 26-year-old, valued at around 30 million, got eight goals last season for Sociedad in La Liga, can play on the right wing, can play in midfield, someone versatile. Aston Villa going to be playing in Europe, going to need more squad depth. And on that right-hand side, Bailey, Buendia, I don't know if they're up to it. Next up, Brentford. Ivan Tony's out, they need a goal scorer. And that is why I have gone for Victor Gjokerez. 21 goals for Coventry in the championship last season. Swedish, in, well, I, th I think he's an international. He needs a step up to the Premier League. Victor Gjokerez, I've been calling for it for a long time. He's good enough. Brentford should sign him. Brighton. Now, the player that I have gone with is Mickey van der Ven. 22-year-old centre-back at Wolfsburg. Had a breakout year last year. Young, talented. Liverpool linked with him. Tottenham are linked with him. But Brighton should try and get that deal done. They're playing Europa League football next season. And at centre-back, the likes of Dunk, Veltman, Webster. We don't know if they're good enough. Sign van der Ven. Burnley. This deal looks like it's going to happen, but I've gone for it anyway. James Trafford as the goalkeeper. He's had a brilliant season at Bolton, and now the under-21 Euros guiding England to the final. And I think that Trafford should be good enough to play in the Premier League now. I think he could be really, really good in the future. And Chelsea, I have gone for Andre Onana. Kepa Ariza Balaga, we don't know whether he's good enough. They've lost Edouard Mendy as well, and... Onana is what they need, a goalkeeper that can play with his feet. We saw how he was in the Champions League, got into to the final, had a decent performance in the Champions League final. And yes, he'll be valued at a very high price tag, probably over 50 million. But Chelsea, if anybody have that money, they should go and get that right now. And I, that is more important, I think, than a striker because they have just signed Nicholas Jackson, who I actually rate very highly. Palace, Crystal Palace, they need a right back. Joel Ward, Nathaniel Klein, whoever they have there, not good enough for Palace. They want to go up to the next level and maybe try and fight for some European spots and become that sort of Brighton level team. Obviously, Brighton are their rivals. And that is why I've gone for Daniel Munoz, 27 year old at Henk, right? Brilliant attacking right back. I'm wearing the Colombia shirt. Come on, Colombia. We know how much we love Colombia on this channel. And Munoz has, we've been calling out for him, like I've been calling out for him to come to a big club. Obviously, he's a Colombia fan. I've watched him. I thought that this guy is good enough to come to the Premier League, to come to a big team and perform. And now I think it, it, it's the time. At 27 years old at Henk, he was brilliant last season, scoring eight goals in the Belgian Pro League for Henk, who did really, really well. And I think that this is the move that would suit him, move into the Premier League and obviously Copa America next year. So come on, Colombia, going to be hopefully at Ecuador as well. Um, Next up, we have Everton. They need a goal scorer, someone that's going to get them goals. They've got, like, Malpai, Calvert-Lewin. Cannot rely on them. That is why I have gone for the top goal scorer in the championship last season, Chuba Akpom. This guy, at 27 years old, 28 goals in 35 starts for Middlesbrough in the championship last season. And I think that Everton should go out of their way to sign him because... 
if they want to survive relegation again, they're going to need somebody to put the ball in the back of the net. Akpom, yes, he's not Premier League proven, but I think he could do a really good job over there. Next one, we're going for Fulham. Now, they had a really good season last year. I don't know whether they're going to be able to do a similar thing again. And I think they need some centre-backs because Tim Ream's getting on and that. That is why I've gone for the ex-Sparta Prague boy, David Hanscott. He was brilliant for Sparta Prague. Well, he... He was at Sparta Prague since 2019, left last year, he had three years there, he was one of the best players, he was captain, and now, last season, he had an unbelievable year at Feyenoord, getting into the Eredivisie, team of the season, and Feyenoord, obviously, becoming champions. I think that this guy, at 25 years old, still has a really high ceiling, and I think he should come to the Premier League as soon as he can. I know Feyenoord and me playing Champions League football, but... You never know when that Premier League, when those Premier League money comes and, you know, you're offering him a starting spot in the Premier League for a club like Fulham who finished mid table last year. I think he would take that. Liverpool. Now, there's been lots of links. Romeo Lavia, the likes of Kefren Thuram, obviously Mbappe links. That's kind of ridiculous. However, obviously, now that we've signed Soboslai, you know, is our midfield complete? I don't think so. I still think we need a defensive midfielder. However, the priority right now is a left-footed centre-back. If we're going to play this three centre-back system, Robertson, yes, OK, he could be good enough, but we need somebody else. If one of the defenders gets injured, it's Joel Matip or Joe Gomez, and I don't know whether they're up to it. That is why I have gone for Levi Colwell, because this guy at Brighton last season was absolutely incredible. And not only could we be getting him for a fairly cheap price, we're taking him off one of our biggest rivals, Chelsea, as well. This would be a brilliant deal. And I really hope it happens. Next up, Luton Town. Now, I think they are doomed in this Premier League campaign. I think they will absolutely get relegated. However, they need a goal scorer. They need a striker if they have any chance of survival. And that is one I have gone for Pyro. Pyro. What, how do I say it? At Swansea last season, bundles of goals. I think he got around 20 goals in the championship. And, well, Luton, that's sort of the best you're going to get. Not many people realistically, with all respect to Luton, are going to go and want to go there. And I think Premier League football for Piro, that is a good deal. Next up, Manchester City. And I, I'm i sick of them spending so much money everywhere. I keep going on about it, especially on defenders. However, I have suggested Gvardiol because I swear to God, if Man City get Yoshko Gvardiol, the game is gone. They are literally got, like, I think they could do another treble. Genuinely. Like, that is that is the levels we're getting to right now. And I think Vardiol will want to go and play for Man City. And, obviously, brilliant. Like, young talent at the World Cup and stuff like that. He's a, he's a class, class act. Manchester United next. Now, they need a goalkeeper and they need a striker. Now, I have gone for the goalkeeper because, for the striker, they were, it was difficult finding targets for the striker of who they could go for. I mean, there's loads, but... A lot of them look quite as unrealistic as the next. That is why I have gone for Mike Magnon in goal, because I think he is one of the top five best goalkeepers in the world, especially as an amazing shot stopper at, um, obviously, at AC Milan last year, right? AC Milan, I remember in those Champions League games where AC, especially against Inter, AC haven't got the, a great side, but Magnon has saved them. Yes, he is 28 now, just turned 28, but goalkeepers go on for much, much longer. I think that Magnon should be signed for Manchester United. Next up, Newcastle. They need wingers, right? They need a winger to go up with Isaac and Callum Wilson. And that is why I've suggested a winger that can play both sides, showed real, real promise and talent before his injury. And I think he'd come back now for around 50, 60 million. He could be available for Newcastle. Federico Chiesa. He is a brilliant, brilliant player that we saw at Juventus. Now, obviously, last season was a bit difficult for him, right? He had those injuries. Like, if we look, he only played. He only started six games, right? But the seasons before that, in the 2021 year, he got nine goals, nine assists. Like, he is a really talented player. And Newcastle have got to be going out there because they'll be playing Champions League football. They need a bigger squad. And those wing areas are looking slightly weak. Like, the so Jacob Murphy... Nottingham Forest next, I've gone for someone who I think will be quite cheap, just got relegated, Tyler Adams from Leeds. Even though Leeds got relegated, he was a shining light last year. He's a very, very good American international, and I think he would suit Forest right now. Sheffield United, I've gone for Manning, right, the um, in the championship last season, can play that left, le left back, left centre back role, and I think he would suit their system, and that is who they need right now, because Sheffield United... They really need to strengthen that squad if they're going to have any chance of surviving. I mean, you know, they've got attackers like Ilman and Dai and that. But yeah, they need somebody in that defensive area because they could be leaking goals. Spurs, I've gone for my boy, 
Ecuadorian brother Piero Incapié, and he's been linked to Spurs for a while. Now, I don't know whether I want him to go, but for Spurs, this is a great move. A left-sided centre-back, right, can play left-back as well, at young 20-year-old talent from Bayer Leverkusen. He's been doing it. He was great at the Wild Card, Copper Americas than that. And I think that they could get him for actually a quite a cheap price. West Ham United. Um, this one's quite interesting. I don't know how the Mexicans will feel about this. I'm going for Santi Jimenez. Now, he had a brilliant, brilliant season. I mean, I've, I've been watching the Gold Cup, right, for Mexico. And sometimes he does good, sometimes he doesn't. But for club, for final last season, scored 15 goals in 21 starts. He is just 22 years old. I think that this is somebody that West Ham could go and get. Now, they haven't had good luck with strikers recently, the likes of Skamaka. However, I think Jimenez could potentially slot into that. It is a risk, but they could get him for cheap, and he showed real promise at certain times for final this year. And then last but not least, Wolves. I've gone for a free transfer to replace Ruben Neves. They need somebody in that role. I've gone for Daichi Kamada. He's going to be available for free. He's been pr he's proven at Frankfurt. He's won the Europa League, you know, and he was brilliant in that final as well. I think that this just looks like an obvious move for Wolves. They need a good enough midfielder because if they don't sign players very soon, they could be in a relegation battle and they could be getting relegated. Anyway, that is um, another video. If you do, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you.